Hey, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Saturday morning, about 8.30 a.m. California time, December 21st, 2024, winter solstice today. Six, uh, 6 one earthquake here, the latest on the map. Pretty decent size aftershock here near the Port Villa area. This follows that 7.3 earthquake that struck out here. Oh, a couple days back here. So as you can see on the list, got uh, the six pointer today as the largest aftershock sequence here in this uh, area of uh, of earthquake activity yesterday and the day before we had some movement up here north following all this activity but it looks like things are still wanting to move around this region so we'll continue to keep an eye on that area as it is a hot spot of earthquake activity right now uh, for california a little bit of movement here south of the bay area around the santa cruz mountains region Got a little sequence of events out here just off the plate boundary and inland. Uh, nothing big. The largest looks to be a 2.4 here around the Santa Cruz Mountains area. Uh, aside from that, uh, Southern California here. Let's see what we got for the extreme Southern California region. A lot of this activity here from yesterday. Nothing above the 2.5 level uh, today. So got uh, somewhat of a quieter day down there for now, but it's still, you know, it's still early. We got to watch that because Southern California has been moving along with Northern California here in the last couple months and uh, just taking a little breather out there, it looks like for now. Uh, let's see if we got anything else major going on here following uh, the uh, activity this morning. Some shallow adjustment looks like around the Tonga area. That's going to be this movement right up here. Of course, that's... Uh, Pretty shallow, right at the interface here of the subduction zone, the Tonga Trench for a five-pointer early this morning. Uh, a more recent 4.8. Well, actually, that's from yesterday. Just about ready to drop off the 24-hour threshold here, as far as that 4.8 goes, but a five-pointer from early this morning. So we'll continue to keep an eye on things here and report back on anything that changes in terms of larger movement out here. Clustering going on, it looks like, across the Philippines area southward. That's very typical. Uh, aside from that, uh, what do we got way up north here? Three-pointer in the Montana, it looks like. Uh, USGS keeping that below the 3.0 threshold at a 2.9 outside of the Bozeman, Livingston area. Butte, Montana sits back here to the west. Oh, 60 miles or so. So a little bit of a earthquake uptick around that region late last night. Uh, let me check out the Yellowstone overview here, see what we have. There's that two-pointer showing up, 2.9. Three-pointer from the EMSC model uh, showing up there on the Yellowstone seismograph stations pretty nicely. Aside from that, that's about the only one out there in the area, so things are quiet. Prevailing quiet conditions out there across Yellowstone for now. Uh, New Madrid seismic zone, this earthquake here from yesterday. Handful of earthquakes out in the oil fields from yesterday as well. So we'll see what the six pointer sets in the motion out here. I know that's right around the uh, area of that 7.3, but there's still a lot of stress building up out here. Uh, and it shows signs of working its way northward with the recent activity. Uh, if we look at the seven day chart here, there's some more of that recent activity following that seven pointer. Uh, that leaves potentially some regions right around the Solomon Islands area open for some adjustment as well. Uh, a lot of times we'll follow that uh, pressure migration along the plate boundary. Seems to uh, either work its way up this region or potentially back build here like we're seeing around the Tonga Trench area uh, in the last 24 hours. All right, quick glance at space weather activity. Fairly neutral here on the board. Not a whole lot of flaring currently going on. There is a, a number of active regions out on the eastern limb that we're watching. Still a 10% chance for X flare activity. M flare at 65. C flare around 99% chance. And it's uh, not a whole lot of uh, auroras in the uh, forecast there for now. Hopefully that can change in the days ahead. No major severe weather out there on the board. We've had a little bit of rain this morning here in Northern California from our storm system here today. We got a series of storm systems knocking on the door here for this uh, uh, holiday week. Another one coming in that looks like Sunday night, early Monday morning, and even a, a little bit stronger one there for a Christmas Eve time period. 
that's going to be a, a decent uh, precipitation and snow maker at the higher elevations there and maybe another one behind that another one behind that series of uh, storm systems there set to uh, slam into california um, and it'll be quite wet out here until the uh the end of the year which is uh, very close here i mean we're looking at 2025 awfully close all right folks you enjoy your saturday enjoy the uh, winter solstice out here days start to get longer uh, which means uh the sun sets a little bit later each day so if you like that light coming back to your uh your life so to speak uh, that is taking place here we'll continue that there until the uh, summer solstice but i'm not ready for summer yet i'm, I'm going to enjoy winter first have a good one we'll catch you guys back out here a little bit later stay safe everyone uh, seismograph stations there across the board look pretty calm not a whole lot of uh, earthquake activity showing up there for now